and gents, I am coming to you guys this evening to basically start my year off with a particular routine that I'm going to be starting. If you guys are interested, you can join in. Um, basically, I wanted to come and share with you guys because I think it's a great decision for 2013, something that would give us inspiration. So, basically, with that being said, let's get straight to the point. Um, I saw on Instagram somebody had posted a photograph of a jar and let's say this was an empty jar. It was a jar and on the front of the jar it basically said um, I'll be writing notes throughout the year of 2013 of the most you know exciting things or great things that happened to me in 2013 and I'll be putting it in the jar. So at the end of the year New Year's Eve or whatever the case may be, you can look back at it and you can say, oh wow, this is what I did, this is what I went through, so on and so forth. And I was thinking to myself, like, that is a fabulous idea. But instead of me actually doing it in a jar, like an empty jar like this, perhaps this is like the only jar that I have in my house that I would actually use, but instead of me doing that, I'm going to be making videos. So if you guys are interested in joining in on this uh, particular thing that I'm going to be doing, you can join in. Um, basically, every every single time that something awesome happens in my life, I'm going to make a video about it. And I'm going to title that video. Um, I was thinking I should probably title it... Um, I don't know, like, I don't know what I should title it, but whatever you decide to title them, that's what you decide to title them. That's your thing, okay? That's your personal thing. You do not have to title them the same title that I title mine, because that's just ins insignificant. So basically, um, yeah, every time that something awesome happens in your life, you can decide to make a video about it. And at the end of the year, New Year's Eve, I'm going to personally look through all of my previous videos and remind myself of everything that happened in my life for 2013. I think it's a great idea because 9 times out of 10, we tend to forget what happened, whether it was success of your own or, I mean, I mean, everything is success from God. But we tend to forget um, what God did for us in the year and we tend to forget what he brought us out of or whatever the case may be. So I think it's a great idea. Um, also, I want to tell you guys, it's going to be my first day of my first video. Today is January 6th, Sunday. So, this is January 6th, Sunday, 2013. Um, today, at church, I received a prophetic, a prophetic word, and it was basically, what was said was, my pastor was like how... Um, in the year of 2013, it's, it doesn't even make sense how much God is going to bless me and how much, like, he's, it doesn't even make sense how much God is going to bless me in 2013. Um, and then after that, she was basically like, um, how I'm, she's, she, she basically said, she was like how I'm going to become a pastor. And she was basically like, Mm, I'm going to be the next big pastor out of my ministry. And I was completely blown away, okay? Completely blown away. So she's like, how I'm going to be the next big pastor out of my ministry. And she was basically like, how I'm going to be able to go places that she didn't even get to go. And she was basically like, you know, like how the ministry is going to provide the money for me to be able to go and to be able to speak there. And she was like, there's a word inside of my belly. And she was just like, I just, I was overwhelmed and I was just blown away because I don't see myself as being a pastor. And I remember ever so clearly when we had a, a youth service and I had to speak, it was the most scariest thing I have ever, ever I have ever experienced in my life the most scariest thing ever um everybody who knows me knows that I'm afraid of the microphone at the altar I do not dabble with that people can die okay from messing with the altar okay I that's just something that I just don't dip and dabble in and um 
Yeah, so she was like, you know, um, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a pastor, and you're going to speak the word, and I'm going to be like all over, all over places that she didn't even get to go, and she was like, you know, you, I need you to keep yourself holy, and I need you to keep yourself pure, and she was like, you, you need to be up under me so that you can, you know, learn, blah blah blah, and she was just like. And she said, it doesn't even make sense how much God is going to bless me in 2013, okay? And I personally was just blown away. When I tell you guys that I was blown away, it was because I was just like, never in a million years would I ever see myself as being a pastor. But if that's what God has for me, then that's what God has for me. I'm not going to speak against what God's plan is for my life whatsoever your will is god that that it is it's already done um but i was just blown away like i don't think i don't know i don't i don't know what to say because i i just i don't know what to say and it's crazy because like over the years i've received a lot of prophetic words that my ministry me in the dance ministry um with my sister I don't know if you guys know her channel, but her channel is Eat, Pray, Dance. She's also on Instagram as Eat, Pray, Dance. Wait, no. Is she Eat, Pray, Dance? I'll leave her. I'll leave her down there, her her link. But she's on YouTube. Her name is Eat, Pray, Dance. Um, yeah, the two of us are in dance ministry. And we have, it's, we always receive a prophetic word in January that, you know, we were going to minister to the nations and we're going to go travel all over the world and God's going to open up doors. Doors are going to be busting open and it's just going to be crazy. Like we've always received that word. And just to hear, to hear her say, you know, that I'm going to be a pastor, it just, it was just like, God, like me, Jesus, like me, filthy, dirty, you know, when I say filthy and dirty, I mean like, oh, wretched man that I am kind of filthy, dirty. I'm not talking about physically filthy, dirty. I mean like, you know, spiritually filthy, dirty, like, oh, wretched man that I am. It's just like, wow, God, like, wow. So I had no words. I had no words. But, you know, I say that to say this. I am ever so grateful to God and just from hearing the word, hearing the prophetic word, I feel like it compels me to do more, to do more in a sense of like increase my prayer life and, you know, like actually, actually get on my knees and pray because a lot of times I like to pray in my bed if I pray, you know what I mean? Like I pray in my bed and I say my prayer in my bed and that's what it is, but I don't know. It just, it just really honestly just blew me away. And that is something that happened to me today, um, January 6th. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And every awesome and crazy thing that happens, whether it's great or whether it's bad, I will be bringing it to you guys and um, sharing it in video because, like I said, at the end of the year, I'm going to look back at all these videos and we're going to see. And I think it's also a great idea because it'll bring glory back to God. And pe because you know what it is? A lot of people, I personally feel, because that's how I felt growing up, I always feel like great things, like impeccable Things don't happen to young people. I'm 24, and I always feel like great things always happen to the oldies that are in church. Because the oldies, you know, they've seen it all, they've done it all, they have nothing more to do than to commit their lives to God. But when you're like 24, and you're, you know, like, you know, a fashionable young adult, I mean, a young, beautiful you're not wearing skirts. You're not the typical Christian. You know, the typical the typical Christian that people paint in their minds. I like to say the people the way people paint them to think that they are they ought to look in their minds. You know, the skirts down to your ankles and you're not supposed to wear earrings and you're not supposed to wear makeup and you shouldn't get your nails done or stuff like that. 
I mean, I'm not the typical Christian girl. I am very much outside of the box, and I guess I just want people to know that you can be young and be in church and be busy in church and be in ministry, you know what I mean, and and God will bless you. So I guess that's the whole purpose of this. So I'm looking forward to this year, 2013, so I just... I hope that this helps somebody out there. Um, and that's all I got to say. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's it. If my face looks red like a tomato, guys, please don't make fun of me. That's why I was wearing this hat. Because I am suffering from severe eczema. As you guys know, um, nothing works. Absolutely nothing. And it's really devastating. Devastating. It's itches it burns it's just really bad when i was a baby i had it severely as a as a baby baby i mean it was all over me in my hair everywhere and glory to god like no one would ever know that i had bad eczema my skin doesn't even look patchy but now i'm 24 and it seems that it's coming only in my face so what I'm thinking, I've tried everything. I've tried steroid creams, I've tried Aveeno, I've tried Cetaphil, I've tried everything. I've tried Ax Axone. Nothing works at all. I've heard that using coconut oil on your face for moisture might work. I'm going to try that and I'm going to try not using any soap products on my face. Just using hot water. And I'm going to see how that works. But... Yeah, that's why I haven't been wearing any makeup for months, okay? I'm telling you guys, months. It's been months. Because my face, it gets inflamed and it goes haywire. It's not cool at all. Um, yeah, so please excuse my appearance. Um, either way, I'm still beautiful. Oh my gosh. So... I put this hat on so I can kind of hide it a little because, you guys, I'm not exactly camera ready, but whatever. Um, so, yeah. Also, my nails, I love them. Um, if you guys, let me see. Oh, let me explain them. Okay, so this is a gun, as you guys can see. Check out the detail. It's impeccable. So that's a gun, and this is across right so I call these two love and war okay so you pick one I really really like this shout out to um the girl who did my nails her name is Shakina I believe it's Sakina um I always pronounce her name wrong she's probably gonna kill me if she sees this video but I love you sweetie um I will put her information down below she's from she does nails in Jamaica, Queens, on Jamaica Avenue. Um, yeah, so they're absolutely beautiful. I love them. I decided to go out of the box and try these claws. I was a little scared, but truth be told, they're a lot more comfortable than the normal nails. Because normally, I feel constricted and constrained, but it feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing. I will say that. So that's all I gotta say. Um, it's been great. It's been real. I'll check you guys on the next video. Mwah. Love you.